Hey folks, Chad here. I'm gonna make this uh, intro right here real quick. And first off, thank you by the way, I forgot to mention it the other day, to uh, all the people who have newly subscribed. I think we're over 500 now, approaching 600 subscribers. And uh, also I'd like to thank YouTube for my first garden video kind of going viral there for a little while. So um, uh, the new one's doing really well too. But uh, so welcome everybody to the channel. It's mostly gardening right now. We do have some uh, camping stuff coming up, some land stuff with the tractor, uh, maintaining um, our 250 acres of woods. So we'll have some of that. And we also um, have the boat coming up. So we're gonna have some boating type stuff as well. But definitely um, gardening is a major feature and that's what uh, many people have been uh, coming onto the channel to watch. So today, very quickly, I've got a bunch of potting soil. We're gonna take the new wrought iron, or the new, the old, um, wrought iron clawfoot tub and fill it up with dirt and put some plants in it and just see how it goes I went to southern landscaping today and bought some perennials annuals mix and we'll probably add some more to it but the, the um, lady who was working there today um, she was great she got a big wagon I told her it was a tub so she got a wagon about the same size and started putting stuff down and spacing it out and just kind of saying what she would do and I said look that looks great I'll take all that stuff and let me take a picture so I don't forget. So that's what I'm going to do is try to recreate that and then we'll add in whatever we want to add in as we go. But just to get something in there and also I'm going to put a watering hose straight up the drain plug up there. So where the drain is, the hole for it, and that way we have it watered as well um, on a drip system. And you won't even see the hose coming over because it's going to be run up through the dirt and sitting at the top. And then we'll connect the little drip hosing to that. So I'll show you that in the video. But again, thanks everybody for subscribing. Let's get started. All right, very quickly, just looking at the tub, I've got the claw feet on, they just slide on, have a little screw that kind of holds them in place, but they're really solid. Put some of these um, retaining wall blocks on the front, on back there's some bricks. Back, that made it um, pretty level, and I've already tested it. When you pour water in here, it goes out the drain hole down there, it just all flows that direction. And then I'm gonna put a rock right over the drain hole in a minute to keep any dirt from clogging that area up or just going through it. And that'll cover that up, but the water still goes through. Already checked it. So I'm going to run a tube from our hose right here, under here, and up through that hole right there. And then it's going to have some extra up here. And then I'm going to hook in to the black uh, quarter inch tubing. I'll hook in the drip line like this. And that way the whole thing is watered when I water the flower bed. Uh, just same drip line system as we're just going to plug into it and attach it to that. Here we go. This is all that we need. We have the hole puncher, the black tubing to run up through the bottom of the tub, the drip hosing. We have a stopper for the end of the brown tubing, wherever the end of it is. These two connect this hose to the main hose and then this hose to that hose. So that's what those two are for. And then also remember, once we attach the black hose, we're also going to attach this somewhere to cut it off. Um, so we have an on and off switch on it. So if we don't want to water the tub, we don't have to.
Okay, Let's see what all we got here. I think that looks pretty good for now. Fill in some gaps with a few other things, but some ivy that'll trail down. Proven winners. This is uh, Proven Accents Patricia is the name of it. But that is some ivy going down. We've got this bubblegum petunia, super petunia vista, which I'm hoping is going to lean over the side and trail down and not take over the whole rest of the thing, but we'll see. We got some rosemary Tuscan blue right here. Keep some bugs away. Um, let's see. And then we start, let's see, I don't know all the names of all this. Uh, impatience, this is Clockwork New Guinea Impatience. Rose, it says on there. And then last but not least, I don't know, what are these, salvia maybe? And then there's the cone flower right here, the tall part, which is about to uh, go into bloom and several more smaller blooms coming all throughout the thing. And a ladybug crawling on it looks like, so that's great. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting this stuff in there and then uh, we'll go from there. You can hear this above the wind. There you go. You've got the bird feeders with the bird cage hanging baskets. You've got the nice tub filled with stuff. About to water it in um, and then put this drip hose on to make sure it works. And it should be good to go. I think it turned out really nice. Awesome. Shout out to Southern Landscaping for the uh, ideas on the flowers. Also for that um, bird feeder in the back. And for the dude that we uh, bought the tub from. Awesome. Boom, yeah. If y'all like this video, click the like button, hit subscribe, and share with your friends. See you soon. Bye bye.